78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new one. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, Oscar De La Hoya, the gift that keeps on giving. Oscar says that Devin Haney is ducking William Zapata. That's right. Devin Haney, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, who has now moved up to 140 to challenge Regis Prograde for the 140-pound WBC championship. Oscar De La Hoya says that Devin Haney is ducking Williams to pay that 135. Right? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely, it's madness. Okay? Williams to pay that has done absolutely nothing. Williams to pay that hasn't beat any big names, hasn't done anything. All of a sudden now, you want us to believe that Devin Haney is ducking him. Now, this is what Oscar says. He says that um, he doesn't believe that if Devin Haney was offered that fight, that he would take it. No way. No way would Devin Haney take a Williams and Peter. No way. So I don't know if this is like some type of reverse psychology or something or what this is supposed to be, but bro, Williams and Peter, what does he do for Devin Haney? And why now is Devin Haney's name being mentioned by Oscar De La Hoya when, when Devin Haney was at 135, Devin Haney practic practically begged to fight Ryan Garcia for years. And Oscar De La Hoya, Bernard Hopkins, and Ryan Garcia played keep away with Devin Haney. They wanted nothing to do with him, right? They, want, they didn't want to fight Devin Haney. Then Devin ended up getting all the belts. Now Devin has moved on to 140, and y'all talking about, yeah, y'all using his name to, to cloud up off of him. So for all these people that's claiming that Devin Haney is not a star, he's not a draw, he don't sell, well, his name stays in the mouth of all these other guys. This man is at 140 now. And you got Shakur Stevenson. He can't do nothing without talking about Devin Haney. Every interview he do, he got he must have it in the contract when he do an interview. Yeah, make sure you ask me about Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to talk about that for at least 30 minutes. It's, it's pathetic, really. Shakur Stevenson has, has been talked about more with this Devin Haney saga than in any other time in his career. And that's just facts. Okay? So now we finna try to do this with Williams Zapata. Now we finna make Williams Zapata somebody that is supposed to be getting dumped. First of all, dude, we barely know who Williams Zapata is. It's two, it's two or three Williams Zapatas. One at 140, it's, it's one at 135, and I think it's one of them in, in them booger weights. Don't nobody know who this guy is, Oscar? What are you talking about? Stop trying to cloud up off of Devin Haney. Williams and Payton. Oh, he would never, Devin Haney would never fight Williams and Payton. Never. <laughs> Williams and Payton is the boogeyman now, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Devin Haney has Regis Progway uh, to worry about. And, um, you know, I'm hoping Devin gets past that. He will get past De uh, Regis Progray. And then from there, move on to bigger and better things. Uh, possibly a unification uh, matchup with Tiafimo Lopez. Something like that would be a great fight. Uh, huge for 140. You know what I mean? Um, maybe, uh, you know, go for undisputed at 140, you know? Devin Haney and his team uh, are saying that they haven't ruled out going back to 135. I personally don't want to see Devin fight at 135 again. I think it's a waste of time. I think that you were down at 135. Them guys didn't want to fight you. As soon as you looked at bad on the scale against Cambosis, then all of a sudden, everybody's kicking down the door to fight Devin Haney. It's just pathetic, bro. And y'all can't tell me I'm lying. You know it's facts. All right? So I think Devin Haney should stay at 140. Um, become undisputed there. And anybody that want to fight him from 135 should, should move up to face Devin Haney. That's how I feel. But y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. My body hit old deuces.